3 quantity squared plus 4. All right, now if you, don't, if you doubt me, we'll multiply it out. You get x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus 4, which is 13. So that is a way to rewrite the denominator. All right. And then once I see that, I make the numerator look the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do x plus 3 minus 3. Like that. So what I did was I added 0, right? But what's going to happen from doing that is I'm going to get two pieces. I'm going to get the piece that's like x plus 3 dx over x plus 3 squared plus 4, right? And then um, minus, uh, let's say, 3 times the integral of dx over x plus 3 squared plus 4. And you might say, well, why'd you do that? That's weird. Well, I did it for a reason. The reason I did it was because now I can let this be my, my, uh, my u. Right? And, um, if I'm, and if I'm making two substitutions, I'll use u for one and like w for the other or whatever. Over here, I'll let w equal to x plus 3, right? So dw is dx. And so with those two substitutions in mind, what we have is the integral of 1 half du divided by u for the first integral minus 3 times the integral of dw over w squared plus 4. But I would draw your attention to the fact that we know how to integrate 1 over w squared plus 4. We just learned it back in example 18. See, example 18 showed us how to do the w integral. We know it's an inverse tangent, and it involves fractions. And the first one's a log, right? Just so we get we get one half natural log absolute value of u minus three. I gotta follow. This. So here, what we're looking at is b equals to two, right? B equals to two. And uh, x equals to w, right? For example. 18. So I've got minus 3 times 1 half inverse tangent of w over 2 plus a constant. Now, um, okay, so what we have then is 1 half the natural log of the absolute value of x squared plus 6x plus 13 minus 3 halves inverse tangent. What was w? w was x plus 3, right? x plus 3 divided by 2 plus a constant. This is the most difficult example I've worked today, for sure. But if you understand my steps, you realize that you can integrate 1 over a quadratic. If that quadratic, um, when you complete the square, if it doesn't factor over the real numbers, then pretty much you can always use this strategy that I've just shown you. If you've got a linear over a irreducible quadratic, you can use this kind of integration to, to, to solve it. 
Now, if the quadratic factors, that's something we cover in calculus too, using something called partial fractions. But calculus two never gets easier than this. Like this is how you do this integral in calculus two. There's no like secret easier way to do this kind of integral besides get a friend to do it for you. But <laughs> So our final example for today, example 20, shall we? The integral cosine of a e to the x plus 3 times e to the x dx. Here a is not equal to 0 and it's a constant. So in the problem like this, you almost always want to make the argument of the cosine be the u. Try it at least. So we're let u equal to a e to the x plus 3. That gives me du is a e to the x dx, or 1 over a du equals e to the x dx. Of course, I've got an e to the x dx, right? Right here. So this is the integral of cosine of u times 1 over a du. Integral of cosine is sine, right? So 1 over a sine of u plus a constant. 1 over a sine of a e to the x plus 3 plus a constant. There you go. So I've covered the majority of examples in my section 6.5.1, which ranges from, you know, Oh, page 230 to um, page 235. There's a couple more there I haven't covered yet, and we'll, we'll circle back to those in future lectures most likely. But uh, I think that's a pretty good batch of examples to get us started on u-substitution. Next time we talk about u-substitution, I'll probably talk about how to prove the rule and, like, what's the proof of it. And um, hopefully we'll also talk about U substitutions involving bounds. See, we haven't done definite integrals that involve U substitution yet. And there are a few little surprises that you'll, you'll, you'll encounter there. So that's it for today. Thank you, thank you. Don't forget.